Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please understand, whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from, too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins, as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones, the power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But. Though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs, and to me, that we should give all those who wanted a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? What are the laws? The laws were laid down by Amrak when he founded the Berserkers. But what matters is the spirit of the law. Protect Magellan. That is what Amrik truly intended when he founded the Berserkers. Whatever words and interpretations have been added to Amrik's words, it is Magellan's future that counts above all. What do you do here other than give free advice? As Amrik said, our hope for Magellan is that all Elix shall become mana, that from mana Magellan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So the workers bring the elix to us, and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand. Though we do study it, even now Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Albs lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Albs use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them and it damages the world. 
So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the Mana Shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted. At the same time as Kral, one of our guards. What could the thief use it for? I don't know, but Elix is food only for machines. Feed it to the plants and they become tainted. Feed it to a man and it drives out his emotion. It can kill his soul. I think Kral is the thief. But thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alb's machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. What goods have you got? Sure. And you're using that here because?
So, you decided to stick around? Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you, and though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliath a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well... I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't... popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone, and it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead-end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor, and he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So. Let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. Does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword, and there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Edan. But if Ragnar's right, then there must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So, Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But, if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. Will the suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well... He's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen, a hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock, I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. Bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. What do you want me to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. I doubt any of them did it, but you'll get a sense of the men, and then you can report back to me so we can close the case. Where can I find them? They're all still out there. Track them down, then report back to me when you've discovered something.
What are you looking for? Can I do something for you? There's nothing for you here, so why don't you just leave? Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We Berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons, or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But, while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors. Troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Isen clan. But I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset, before this bad feeling escalates into something else. Teach me something. Sure. Stop messing around with that thing. 